looked like it took about two seconds for things to get lively at practice today. What, how would you describe the first practice in pads? Yeah, I think uh, we're all in. We're all in pads finally. You know, offense and defensive line especially has been uh, you know anticipating this moment. Um, you know, it's still the start of camp, so I think guys are you know out there really competing. Everybody's body feels really good right now. Um, and yeah, you kind of uh, expect that, especially with a team that you know looking to compete this year and make some things happen. Compare and reflect back to, to last year. What's the biggest difference in, in your second training camp for you, and just having your feet on the ground and, and having a, a approach that you feel comfortable with? Yeah, I think the speed in which I can just paint the picture in my head and have an understanding of my order of operations before I even get to the line of scrimmage has been um, night and day compared to last year. I uh, feel a lot more comf- uh, just feel a lot of comfort and, and, and command of, of the offense as a whole. And uh, just, you know, it's nice to be able to play fast without having to hesitate at all. When you reflected on your, your season last year, what was the, the biggest thing that they wanted you to work on in, in this off season and then obviously in the training camp? Like, where's the biggest area for you? Yeah, I think um, just being able to, you know, work on, you know, the IQ of, of playing in this in this league, being able to, um, you know, you can't learn enough. You know, there's a million options on every single play. So being able to just hone in, lock in, understand the game at a, at a better at a better pace and uh, being able to obviously continue to, you know, get better at throwing, you know, year in and year out. I think that, you know, and then to be an NFL, you got to be a dynamic thrower. So continuing to hone in on that skill as well. Um, those are the two things I kind of focused on as well as just continuing to maintain all my athletic abilities as well. What does a quarterback look like that with Caleb and you and some of the other? It's great. Yeah, I love him. Everybody's got a really good personality. Uh, everybody shows up ready, ready to work, uh, which I, which I is really the only thing that I care about. Uh, just like being around people that that work hard, and everybody in that QB room is kind of under the same understanding of uh, just being locked in when we need to be locked in. You know, throw a joke in when it when it when it's when there's time for it. But uh, other than that, just. A lot of good dudes in there, a lot of good personalities, and just working hard. So I, I love it so far. What do you like about Shane Waldron's offense so far? Um, I like the way that he installs. I like the way that he teaches uh, all the concepts and, and run scheme, the the dynamic that uh, him and um, that him and and Flus and uh, every, all the coaches on the offensive staff have. It's it's been a good flow. I feel like when I'm going back to look over plays that we installed, I'm more just you know what, looking over it rather than you know needing to kind of learn it again and uh, learn the rules. Uh, based on the play, so it's been pretty fluent, and uh, we've been able to put a lot of good stuff in. So, um, looking forward to see how it progresses, and um, so far it's been great. Is it easier to learn? I know it's a new offense, but is it easier to learn this one since you've been in the league for a year than last year when you're coming in fresh from Division Two trying to learn the offense? Yeah, no doubt. I, th- I don't think anybody is uh, inventing really new plays anymore. It's a lot of people running the same things. Uh, so. With just understanding rules with, with certain run schemes and pass games, you can kind of just uh, paint the picture and kind of compare it to things that we did last year and just kind of tag team the two. So it's been a lot more fluent this year this, than it was last year. Received a lot of praise for being a good teacher, and you just referenced it. Well, what is it about him as a teacher that connects with you as a quarterback? Yeah, I think he has a he, he, he does a great job of understanding uh, what the player is feeling uh, in the plays. You know, he's he's taught he's coached everywhere he's he's taught all these concepts before um so maybe just the on paper answer that uh, another coach will give he can give real life examples of hey you know this actually doesn't work in this look so this is how we're going to do this and to make it easier for you guys so that you guys can play fast because um at the end of the day you know right or wrong as long as we're playing fast with no hesitation you know you give yourself a better chance so i think it is a good job of being able to be in the player's head and understand that what they're thinking on different different plays from your NFL quarterback's perspective, what is the biggest indicator that Caleb is not a typical rookie and is ready for this? You know, what's the what's the most real indicator that that tells you, uh, you know, that he's that he's ready for this moment? Uh, I think just the overwhelming physical capabilities and and um, just the overall, um, just just the things that he can do off schedule. Uh, you know, in the NFL, even if you're a ten year vet, a lot of plays. Um, can go south pretty quickly. So being able to, um, you know, not hesitate, continue to just react and play the play longer than the other team, I think he does a really good job of that. And I think there's a lot of plays that could be made in this offense, especially with the capabilities that he has outside of the pocket and, and off schedule.
How is training camp and going for you right now? How do you rate your, your own performance so far? Um, I think that everything has been uh, everything has been smooth so far. Um, through my first pick today, that's never fun, but it's always, you know, it's great to be able to see what works and what doesn't work with different coverages and concepts that we're installing. Um, feel a lot, head and shoulders better than I did last year um, at this time, and uh, certainly excited to get these, these pre-game, preseason games underway um, and see what, you know, not just what the ones can do, but see what the depth of this offense could be. What do you think of the skill talent that you have this year if you, at some point during the season, get a chance to operate that? Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't think you could go wrong no matter who you throw the ball to, which is uh, unbelievable. And I think it's uh, similar on the defensive side. I think when we're in seven on seven, you look on the field and um, everybody's got the potential to be an all pro, in my opinion. Um, so um, it's a lot of fun, a lot, lot more, a um, lot, lot, lot more options than, than last year, and just a lot of guys running around the field, running fast, and with a lot of with a lot of skill, just like you said. You got the no, chance to work no. with Tyler Scott both last year and now with the twos this year. Where have you seen him develop as a year two wide receiver? Yeah, I think he's he's fast. I think everybody knows that. So with him, he's just more comfortable in an offense. Like I said, there's a lot of similarities between the offenses. So even though it's a new 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 uh, OC, um, he's able to show his speed more so now that he's not playing with hesitation. I think that you know being able to play with no hesitation is just well. You know, even if you haven't gotten any better physically, you know, you'll look like you got better physically. So I think he's just a lot more comfortable in the offense. He's not thinking as much, and you're able to kind of see how dynamic he could be. How closely, how closely did you follow Gabe's career and pay attention to the lead up of the anticipation that the Bears were going to pick him? And what was that first encounter or meeting him for the first time like amidst all the crazy rumors that swirled about his personality? Yeah, I didn't know much of what the media was saying about him. I didn't really pay too much attention to that. I knew he had, I knew he had won the Heisman at USC, obviously super talented player. Um, and then once we took him, I uh, just was excited to meet him. And then, then upon meeting him, um, whatever the media had to say about him has been completely false. He's been a great dude uh, in the locker room. Personality's great. And uh, he's been working hard. So those are really the only things I care about. And it's been, it's been great so far. Right, so what was your experience with Justin like and now not having him having him leave? Say that again? What was your experience with Justin Fields when you guys were teammates and mm-hmm. your thoughts on him being, not being here anymore? Yeah, uh, I love Justin. He was he was great to me the whole year. Um, definitely kind of showed me the ropes with how kind of how to operate uh, in NFL offense. And, um, yeah, sad to see him go, but excited to see what he'll be able to do for the remainder of his career. Did you kind of worry that they, the Bears would go out and bring in an established veteran to, to compete with you? It's, it seems like – and, and were you just happy, like, hey, they must kind of have some serious confidence in me after year one? Say, say that first part again. I, were you thinking that they might go – the Bears might go out and get a, a real established veteran quarterback uh, okay. with you versus, you know, they basically put a ton of confidence in you? Um, yeah, you know, I didn't really think too much about it. Uh, I was too busy grinding my absolute face off in the off season. Um, but whatever they were going to do, you know, that's completely up to them. I can't control that. But, um, yeah, I was just excited to come back. Whoever was going to be in the QB room was going to be in the QB room. I was Nothing was going to change on my end, though. Um, but, yeah, if, I mean, like you said, it feels good to, to know that they have some, you know, that they have confidence in me and uh, that – you know that they, they like what I was able to do last year, and hopefully they're being able to see the strides that I've made in the off season and going into year two. What was the hard grinding your face off thing that you did? Um, June nineteenth. Shout out to my my one of my best friends, Derek Gallagher. One mile burpee broad jump. Hour and seven minutes. Let's go. <laughs> Is that burpee for a mile? Burpee broad jump. Burpee broad jump. One mile. How many calories did you burn up? I don't know. I, I ate a lot after that. It was nice. <laughs> what did you eat afterwards? What did you call after that? Uh, I went to Betty's. Shout out to Shepherdstown, West Virginia. <laughs> I went to Betty's restaurant. Uh, it was in, I uh, got the, uh, what did I get? The, I think I just got six eggs and bacon with some toast. It was good. Where does where that drive come from? Um... Yeah, I think that, you know, there's been a lot of people in my life that have been stationed in my life along the way. My dad obviously introduced me to just kind of what it was to, you know, work hard. And then, you know, my buddy Derek, who I just mentioned, um, it's always just trying to, you know, I might not be getting better necessarily at football when I'm doing a workout like that. However, just the mental edge that it gives me 
uh, finding out, you know, what I can endure versus what the next man can endure, uh, in a sense, gives me a little mental edge when I show up to things like this and people start complaining about our schedule. Um, I can kind of have somewhere in the back of my head that I've done things far worse than this. Um, that that I, I can handle really kind of anything that's thrown at me and be able to just keep the main thing the main thing, let it flow off the shoulders and just kind of, you know, react to what happens next. So Was that around a track or were you just going down the street? <laughs> no, we were going down the street, yeah. It was <laughs> on the street. Like starting point and ending point. Starting point was his backyard, uh, went a half mile to the to the river, touched the river, half mile back. It came up. looks like People on the street watching you guys. Oh yeah, it's always yeah. We always always some funny. There's always some people looking at us funny, but that's <laughs> it. That makes it even better. Whose idea was this? Um, it was his. It was his birthday workout every year. He chooses a, a ridiculous workout to do on his birthday. Is this the first one you've done with him, or have you... no, 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 no. This is the fourth. Okay. What others did you think? <laughs> oh man. Well, last year it was uh, birthday 5K, 1,000 meter. Uh, burpee broad jump, 1,000 meter row, 1,000 meter uh, backward sled drag, 1,000 meter uh, sand ru sandbag run, uh, 1,000 meter backwards run. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, do you think you hit the bow and arrow a few times on the field here? Is that something that you incorporated this offseason or was that just that last year? No, nah, I don't know. Yeah, I think I did it once in the spring and then it was kind of just, you know, felt nice. It doesn't take a doesn't take a whole lot, and it, everybody kind of has an understanding of kind of what that means. Just you know, through a good pass, I like to get excited. Um, you know, all I all I really think about is football. So when I'm able to go out there and make plays, um, like to kind of just bask in it and uh, be able to celebrate a little bit. So much of the, the QB two role in the NFL is being able to be a resource to the starter. What are the, the realistic ways you can be helpful to Caleb, understanding that you're still kind of learning a lot of stuff yourself in, in year two? Yeah, um, I just I remember you know vividly last year, um, you know Nate and Justin and um, you know Getsy and everybody just kind of really going back and forth on ideas and things they've done, and I was kind of I would kind of sit there and just wonder like, man, am I ever going to be able to engage and help out in these conversations? Um, and it's been a huge weight lifted off my shoulders when just coming in this year and just basing things off of my experience last year, being able to bounce ideas off of uh, off of Rip off of, um, you know, Shane, it's been great. So um, I feel like I've made a lot of progress in that as being just a resource and somebody that can help out with just things that I've seen or, or that I've had to experience in playing time. Um, so, you know, I'm, like I said, I, just, I want the Bears to win the Super Bowl. So being that resource, you know, is, is if it's what I need to do, then I'll do it to the best of my ability. So just really good to see where I'm at in that kind of that, uh, that mind frame right there. Other than the uh, crazy workouts, what was it like to just get started down at home after the craziness of, of your first season? Yeah, it was wonderful. Um, you know, got got a nice spot in my hometown um, with a little apartment downstairs, four bedrooms upstairs. So I live with my family. So I'm the oldest of four. So I love my family more than anything in the whole world. So just being able to hang out with my little sisters, be able to hang out with my little brother, um, and having my mom and dad right upstairs was just, you know, it was great and got to spend a lot of quality time. I uh, got to spend a lot of quality time with friends and, uh, yeah, it was absolutely wonderful. You didn't want to get your own place? Um, no, no, nah. I get all, I get all sappy and stuff. I always think about the, what, when's the last time I'm going to sleep in the same house as my siblings? You know, because once I move out, then it's like, it's, it's a wrap. So be able to just try to stretch that out as long as I can before it gets too weird from like 34 or something like that so um yeah not yet but that you know in the next year or two maybe that, that'd be something that happened so uh, it's all been great you guys gotta get bunk beds man yeah i had bunk beds so i got to college shout out to my little brother <laughs> thank you how's everyone doing how are you looking at the competition to be the starting center right it's good. Me and Coleman, uh, we're battling out. Uh, Coleman's a great guy, great teammate. Uh, going to OTAs, we really got to form a bond. You know, I help him, he helps me. Um, you know, iron sharpens iron. So it's going great right now. We asked uh, Tevin the other day about a leader emerging in the room, and he said you. Have you, uh, is that even a conscious decision to take that on to be vocal in the offensive line room? Yes, you know, I've had conversations with the big man upstairs and uh, my online coach, and 
you know, I'm stepping in that role, uh, being one of the older guys in the room. I'm trying to be more vocal. Uh, it's a newer role for me, but I, you know, I'm embracing it wholeheartedly. And uh, so far, I think it's going really well. You just kind of maybe see a void then? It doesn't sound like it's completely natural for you. Yeah, it's a lot of young guys uh, in the room right now. Um, I think right now, year six, I'm, I think maybe the fourth or third oldest in the room. Um, you know, I came from Buffalo. We had people year 12, year 13, year 10. Um, and so we're a, young, we're a young group, and right now we're developing real well. Um, and like I said, I'm stepping in that role and uh, embracing the leadership aspect of it. What does that responsibility mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. You know, I, these guys are my brothers. Uh, you know, I only got here a couple months ago, uh, but from OTAs to now, it's the first day of pads. Uh, right now, we're forming that bond, and it's only going to get stronger as the season goes on. What are you doing to kind of push yourself into that leadership role? Uh, just being me. I'm not really, you know, pushing any sort of way or agenda. I'm trying to just be me and, you know, show them who I am. You know, being, like I said, I got here a couple months ago. Uh, I'm just trying to be myself. And right now, they've, they've embraced me 100%. Wanting you on this team for a while, I tried to get you once and then got you this time around. What is, what is it like to be, or how does it feel to be wanted by this organization and Ryan Bowles specifically? It was really nice. Uh, I remember the first time I got traded, I was a rookie uh, in Philly. And I didn't know what to think of it. I thought it was a bad thing. Uh, second time around, I view it as a good thing. You know, uh, I signed a contract here two years ago. Didn't quite happen uh, the way they wanted to. You know, Bills matched the contract. I was there for the past two years. Um, they tried to trade for me within those two years, uh, and they finally got me on the third try. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy they did. I, I think I fit well in this offense. I love, I love the team. I love everybody so far, and you know, I, I couldn't have been in a better spot. Why do you think Ryan wanted you here so badly? Uh, I, I can go on and on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, um, I think I fit well in this offense. Uh, wide zone team. You know, I'm athletic. I uh, one of my biggest attributes is my feet. Um, and, you know, as, like I said, today was the first day of pads and we got the hit. And um, I feel like this offense, um, you know, it does well for me. And I think I do well for the offense. And um, I can just try to put my best foot forward every day and just try to embrace it. How would you describe the difference between you and Coleman's playing styles? Uh, we're very similar. Um, you know, we're both lighter guys. We're not 320, 330 pounds. Uh, we both can move really well. Um, uh, we play really similar. We come from different, same coach in the past. Um, he had in LA, I had in Buffalo. Uh, so we, we've, we've been coached and taught the same things prior to being here. Um, and so we have the same mindset, the way we think, the way we move. It's all very similar. Which coach was that? Uh, Aaron Cromer. And then last year he had Ryan Wendell, who I was with for four years in Buffalo. Out. Yeah, the, the mental side of being in a competition like that. Do you try not to stress if you make one little mistake? I'm, I'm assuming you've gone through the past. Do, do you lean on that a little bit? Uh, honestly, I wake up every day and, excuse my language, I just say, fuck it. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. You can't worry about making a mistake. You can't worry about stepping on eggshells. you got to go. And that's just kind of what I'm doing. Kind of, kind of to that end, what is it about football players, especially offensive linemen, where guys who are competing against each other, help each other, almost root for each other? You know, sometimes you see veteran guys help do everything they can to help rookies eventually take their jobs. I mean, what is it about that mindset in, of offensive linemen that they compete, but yet it doesn't become personal? We're just a bunch of big babies. We're big children. That's all we are. And so, you know, we all love each other in the room. You know, times like during training camp is when you build that chemistry, that shared suffrage. Um, and this time of year is when we really grow that chemistry and we really help each other. And everybody's rooting for everybody. Nobody is, you know, everyone's trying to obviously win the job at the end of the day, but um, we're all trying to make each other better. Right. That, that almost, it almost defies human nature in a way. Is, is it a learned thing or is that just the, you know, or is that just the way it is, you know? It's, it's just the way it is. That's the way, that's the business. And if you can't, if you're one of those guys that just, and we have none of the guys here. None of the guys here are like, no, 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 there's no me guys. It's all team guys that we have here. And that's what I love about the, especially the O-line and the offense and really the whole team. Everybody, there's, everybody lifts each other up. Ryan, you spent, you spent five years in Buffalo, Washington. You've seen Josh grow into what he is. From that standpoint, what do you see in Caleb that tells you that he can kind of follow a similar trajectory to, to maximize his potential? I think that jump from, OTAs to now, I think there was a, just a huge, huge step forward for him, uh, being vocal, uh, doing a great job with his cadence, getting everybody on the same page, play calls. It's a lot different than what he was doing in college. 
and he's embracing it wholeheartedly, and he's kicking ass. He really is. You obviously bring some positional versatility to the table on this team. We've talked about moving you around the interior at all, or are you just uh, mostly focused on center? Right now, I'm solely focused on center, but you know, you never know. I've been, you know, I've been thrown in at either guard or in a walkthrough. Um, you know, you, you never know what happens during a game. You can get thrown in there in a pinch, and you know, I'm ready. You know, I know the interior three. Um, I'm trying to create a, you know, I have a master understanding of this offense, and every day it's I'm getting better and better uh, of knowing everything. But yes, I, I have to be ready at all times to switch position in a pinch. Have you given any consideration to the option that you have this year to wear a padded? Helmet in games? No, I'm not doing that. You, do you dislike wearing it in practice, or? I mean, it's just not the most comfortable thing. Obviously, there, there's the um, the safety aspect of I'm sure some some of the players uh, during the league, you know, they might choose to wear it, they might not. Uh, but during practice in this time of year, during training camp, I think it's um, it's not a bad thing to wear during this time of year. Uh, but you know, during the season, during a the game, um, they look kind of silly. Uh, but also, I just I just think it's one of those another thing to think about, which I don't want, especially as a center, because I'm always thinking. Uh, but of course, the safety aspect is there for uh, during times like this, during practice and training camp. I'm, I'm all for wearing it, kind of protect the noggin. But during the games, I probably won't wear one. Do, do a lot of guys think it looks silly. I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure that's the general consensus. <laughs> but you know, safety. Right, right. How, how important do you feel it is uh, you know to have a comfort zone, settling with one guy at center in terms of finding that rhythm and that familiarity and being ready when the regular season starts? Or is that overplayed in your mind? Um, I'm sure it has a uh, plays a role. Um, I wouldn't think too much into it, to be honest, because uh, me and Coleman both, you know, we played, me and, me and Coleman both played some ball. We know uh, what we can do, what we can't do, especially with a young guy back there, quarterback. And uh, we try to take some of the pressure uh, off of him, uh, just kind of trying to handle stuff up front by ourselves. and. Uh, just honestly, just making him try to feel as comfortable as possible because I know he's got a hell of a lot of stuff on his plate. The skirmish today, uh, and Caleb sticking his nose in there with Demarcus. Do you, does that? Uh, That's my quarterback. Yeah. Okay. I love that. I love that mentality. Uh, he's got to be smarter though because you can't have that. God forbid anything happens. But I love you know he stepped in there and he got in the middle of it. That's the that's who he is. That's he wants to. He's a chippy guy. He wants to get in there. He wants to compete. Um, yeah, yeah, I love him so far. How have you enjoyed the soundtrack of Demarcus Walker at practice? He likes to talk, but he's a great teammate. Uh, Demarcus, he, he he makes us better. Um, you know, during games we're gonna have that we're gonna have that talk during games. Uh, you gotta play some. D, I'm gonna play some D lineman who won't close their mouth necessarily. Um, it's only gonna make us better, and I love the, the way he competes. Ryan, how have you seen Caleb's leadership style start to take hold now that he's been here a couple months? Um. I don't think it's you know necessarily uh, changed, um, but like it's he's doing a great job of being in the role he's in, being the starting quarterback of the 2024 Chicago Bears. Um, he is a very personal person. You know, we get in the huddle, he gets a big smile on his face, like "What's up, boys? How we doing? Doing good today? Let's rock and roll." So I, I love seeing that coming in the huddle, um, and he's doing a fantastic job so far. You're obviously new, but four of the five starters on the line are back. Can you? feel that cohesion among those guys who are coming back from last year? Yeah. Um, even me being one of the new guys, I think that time doing OTAs and like I said, this time now, uh, it's very important that we you know, grow that chemistry and we grow that cohesion. And I think right now, like I said, the minute I got here, they've embraced me for who I am and my personality and um, me you know, stepping in that role of being a leader. And, uh, you know, they've embraced me as one of their own. And, you know, we're all – Starting to go, he's, you know, everybody's starting to. You, you see the line starting to form, um, whether it's me or Coleman, and nobody skips a beat. And I, I'm excited the way, you know, see how things are gonna go. Thank you. Well, thank you guys. How's the uh, first day pads for you? It's great. You know, it's always fun setting the pads on that first. You know, coming out and playing some real football again. Uh, it's been a while since we've all played, you know, with pads on, so it's always fun getting out there and hitting. Well, it's probably good intensity out there today. Yeah, yeah, no, a lot of good energy to, today. You know, the guys are moving, and you know, people are always excited for that first day of pads. So it's it's a fun day to go out there and play some ball. We just talked about how the offensive operation has been better since you guys got back, but today was a little shaky. What was the difference today with the, with the false start issues? Uh, 
you know, I, I couldn't tell you. It's just, you know, we just got to go out there and we got to lock in every play. And that's the goal of every practice, right? I mean, it's not always going to be perfect, but we strive for perfection. So that's what, that's what our mindset is. What's it been like competing for the job and like alternating? Maybe you go on the first team one day and then the next day you don't. What's that been like for you? Uh, to be honest, it's just practice again. You know, you just go out there and you do, I was just do the best that I can. You know, I'm just striving to be the best version of my, the best player I can be. And that's, that's my goal. What have you noticed about how Caleb keeps progressing through running this offense? Uh, I mean, he's, as you just said, he keeps pro progressing. He's getting better every day. Um, and that's evident in terms of, um, whether it's just the rundowns or just, you know, his talent just throwing the football. So it's, it's been fun to watch and fun to be a part of. When there's false starts like that, and it, you know, it's happening most of practice, what is Caleb like after? Is he encouraging guys? Kind of? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're always, you know, we always try to stay positive. You never want to put your teammate down. You know, the goal is just to move on, next play, next play mentality. Let's go get it. We'll be good. What have the coaches told you they're looking for in this center competition? Is there a few things that they're gonna that they're harping on, saying like this is what's gonna get you the job? Uh, really, like I said earlier, I'm just I'm focusing on being the best player that I can be. You know, that's that's my goal, and um, I've been in a lot of competitions in the NFL, and the goal is just to go out there and compete against yourself. Is be the best player you can be, and whatever happens, happens. You can't harp on it. Have you learned to handle it better going through all those competitions? As you Absolutely, said? yeah. I mean. It's some that I mean most NFL players go through. It's always a competition. You got to earn your spot every time you step on that field. So it, it's just a certain mindset you got to go out there with, and you know that's just the way it is. And what's it like going against uh, Andrew Billings when he does that loud verbal move right before the snap? So what what is that like for you as a center? Uh, I mean, Bill's probably the best in the league at it. You know, I, I haven't I've played some good amount, and I haven't heard anything like that before. So he does. I mean, he's very emphatic with it. Um, for us, we just got a key into Caleb's voice. You know, they're, they have different, they don't sound the same. It's just one startles you more than the other, you know. So you just got to, you got to lock into Caleb's voice and expect it from the defense. Know the look, know when they want to get to it. And, you know, that starts coming as the more we practice, the more we uh, progress as an offense. When, when he does that, what's the balance of, it's kind of probably a little bit annoying, but it's also, I imagine, prepping you for what's to come? A hundred percent. I mean, it's only getting us better, obviously. Um, it's... It's, it's an abrupt sound, and it's something we got to lock into because we're going to play away, and there's going to be some loud noises all the time. So it's something we got to focus on and just lock in and just listen for Caleb's voice. What was your first impression of Javon in past play? Yeah, uh, I mean, he's he's a good player. He's long. He plays hard. He plays for the whistle. He's the type of guy who never never gives up. So you gotta you got to really finish your block every time when you go against him. So it's fun to block him. What have you learned about Ryan through this process. I mean, Bates is a great player. You know, we're we're in there together every day. We both come in at the same time, and we're we're, we're helping each other out because that only helps the team out. So, we we go in here and we're 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 teammates. So we're, every day we're in here learning together and we're working together and we're we're just striving to be the best we can be. What was appealing for you coming to Chicago? Uh, excitement. You know, I I for, I was a big like Brian Urlacher fan growing up, and the, just the culture of the Bears. It's always been big. Um, so I was very excited to get here and play for like such a historic team. It's been very exciting. It's only been a couple months, but do you have a sense of what kind of leader Caleb's going to be both in the huddle and, and off the field? Yeah, I mean, he's as, as we're working through every day, he's becoming more and more of a leader, you know, and just he's getting all the guys in the right spot and getting the, the alerts right and everything. So it's just kind of something that progresses day to day once, you know, the offense gets working together. How do you describe his leadership style? He said it was something that he would try to work on. He'd listen first and then, and then kind of. Sure. I mean, uh, obviously he leads by example because he has all this talent and stuff like that. But I think his voice is growing too. Just getting out there day to day and just the more confidence we have as a team, the more confidence he has as leading the leader. As Shane installs the offense, is there anything that you can lean on uh, from your time together in Los Angeles that's maybe helpful or are there any similarities, I guess, between that? The yeah, uh, I guess the way I like to describe it is it's kind of like I don't have to learn a complete new language. Um, it's something like I know a lot of the verbiage. I know th a lot of the scheme, so it's helped me out. Obviously, there's going to be a little differences here and there, um, which you just got to pick up on and key. But it's it's something that I'm familiar with and that I've um, that I'm I keep learning as we go along with all the new differences. How have you seen him grow from you know passing game coordinator to now offensive coordinator? Yeah, uh, I mean he clearly you know he did a great job in Seattle and. Obviously, very super excited, super excited to be back with him, and um, he's done some great things, and we're very excited to get get going. Based on your experience in the league, is there anything about Caleb, and perhaps there's not that, that this early that you've seen that tells you or indicates that he's more than just a rookie? You know that he that he won't that, that he'll be able to hit the ground running 
uh, with this offense as opposed to other you know rookie quarterbacks? Maybe? Yeah, I mean his his poise has been great. You know, he he comes in here willing to learn, willing to to work with the guys. So that's that's all you can ask for. It's just a guy who's comes in and is ready to roll and ready to work, and that's he's done a great job of that. And by poise, like, what's a good illustration of that, or what? I mean, it's just. It's not easy to be a rookie quarterback. I don't know. I've never been one, but <laughs> uh, it just the way he comes in here and, you know, he's got confidence in the huddle. He's got confidence in his abilities. And, you know, you can't play without confidence. And he does a great job of that. And it, we feed off of it, which is the biggest thing. Do you really seen your quarterback job with the guys on defense like uh, Caleb did a little bit today? Say, say again? Have you seen your quarterback job with some of the guys? Oh, absolutely. We love a little feisty, you know, like getting scrappy. It's, you know, it's again, it's a part of the culture. It's It's the, you know. Knock it forward, you know. We're, we're we're always moving forward. We're moving together, and we're, you know, eleven is one. You were part of a Super Bowl team. Have you tried to implement some of the habits that you witnessed while you were on that team here? Sure. Uh, I mean, it's just, again, it's just the hard work day to day. It's just working together and working, striving to be the best you can be for your teammate and for each other. It's just coming together as a team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat>